All right, guys. So the way I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to save it. Each section is going to be a different video. That way you can um, focus more on the section that you really need the most help with. So this first one's going to be just the introduction. All right. Intro to bonding. So basically, the kind of overarching thing of this unit, the, the two main things that you need to know is the difference between covalent bonding and ionic bonding. All right. So basically, the whole reason that any atom or any two atoms are going to form a bond is to fill or empty their valence shell. That's the goal, right? To be stable, they either need eight or zero valence electrons. So they can do this in one of two ways. In a covalent bond, they share electrons with one or more other atoms. Okay? In an ionic bond, one atom transfers electrons to another. That should be transferred. Okay, this is the big difference here. Alright, let me move this down. Okay. Alright, in a covalent bond, happens between non-metals, always. If you got a metal as part of a compound, it's not going to be a covalent bond. It's going to be an ion, I mean, uh, it's not going to be an ionic bond, I'm sorry. It's a covalent bond. So some examples would be like H2, hydrogen. Okay, hydrogen's a non-metal, so that's covalent. CO2, carbon dioxide. Carbon and oxygen are both non-metals. Um, we've got CH4, methane, and let's do glucose, C6H12O6. So these are all covalent compounds formed by covalent bonds. Okay, the other type, ionic bonds. These happen between metals and nonmetals. Okay. This is where the metals are going to form cations, positive ions, and the nonmetals are going to form anions, or negative ions, and then they're going to bond together. Okay. So some examples would be, you know, NaCl, Na being a metal, chlorine being a nonmetal. You've got, oh, I don't know, FeBr3, iron bromide. Okay. Or calcium carbonate. Okay, These are ionic compounds from ionic bonds. So basically, one of the big things in this unit is when you're trying to name or recognize a compound, first step, is it covalent or is it ionic? And you do this by whether it has all nonmetals or if it has metals and nonmetals. All right. That's basically it for the intro. <clears throat>